Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video, and we're going to be talking about um, Tifa, Barrett, and also Cloud, Neo Vision, um, Tifa upgrade, Neo Vision, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And this is going to be a little more special because my, we're actually going to go back and at, in, you know, at the end of the video, we're going to go back and look at my previous review for Barrett and Cloud. Apparently I didn't review Tifa back then, I couldn't find that, that slide, but... I might have reviewed on a different video or something, but yeah. So of course I'm going to go into all the details you need to know, including what you need to level up, things like that in this review. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and look at the old school review for the JP side at the end of the video. So if you like these kind of videos, guys, make sure you guys love it like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Anyways, let's get into it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get into Tifa first because that's what everybody cares about, right? Everybody generally cares about Tifa the most. So she will be free. And hopefully you have a bunch more than just the free one. But make sure you don't miss out on that quest to get Tifa and all of the things that she gets with that. She'll be free and she'll be the strongest loot burst finisher and also just damage dealer in general. She'll be one of the strongest. So there's that. She's also very capable chainer as I mentioned but everybody knows for, for that little burst and the one shot and capabilities and things like that very little setup required she does not need much you could have her imbued with another, another supporter you could use her own imbue it, it's just your choice I use it the most, for the most part actually I've been using uh, support imbues because not a lot of time I need to use water very rarely do I need water so I imbue, I imbue her with something else instead so there's that you can easily gear her for limit burst damage and also gives her lots of room for killers and she already has a bunch of killers as is, so it's nice. She has a unique thing that no one else has had so far. I'm assuming eventually someone will. Uh, so far she's the only one who has this. She actually has one times more chaining. So she actually has 70 times, seven times, seven times or six plus one times chaining. Uh, so she has a bit of a head start in terms of chaining compared to other units. And that's only in her brave shift form. That's only, it's only in her brave shift form, by the way. But no other unit has have, had this uh, ability as a passive just yet. I'm sure eventually they will be, but not yet. So, I'm sure I wrote the level five. I think she just gets it normally, anyways. But we're just gonna ignore that part. Uh, and she, yeah, she can change, still chain with a little the normal form. I don't know if she got her latent abilities yet or not. She kind of needs her latent abilities to become viable to be a chainer in a normal form, though, because her latent abilities allowed her, her to boost her water damage. So there's that. So her chaining families are going to be Stardust Ray, and also, for some reason, her Magnus ability, or I guess we can't be calling it a Magnus ability anymore, the Neovision ability. There's a word for it, but I already forgot. Sorry, well, I'll, I'll remember it eventually. Um, can't call Magnus ability anymore, unfortunately. It's, it's the new vision ability. It's divine ruination frames in our in our normal form. For some reason, I don't really know why they decided to give that to her in a, on a new unit, new upgrade new unit type thing. So, and there's only one downfall, as everybody should know. Uh, she she can brave shift turn one. But it only lasts for two turns, so you have one turn. Turn one is to do all the buffs and things that she needs to do. Turn two is a little burst. And you definitely want a little burst on the next turn, because <clears throat> then she'll change, change back afterwards. And she's just okay when she changes back. But she did get some global buffs. I don't know how good they were. I don't remember how good they were, but they were pretty good for the time being. So yeah, that's really the only con that Tifa has. Uh, for a free unit, you can't ask for anything better than this. You really can't. Uh, so the turn count, or the the uh, rotation is down there. Very easy to follow along. I don't really know what the global name for the her imbue attack buff, but you don't really need to use that if you don't feel like you need to use water. But she will need more limb for support. She will need more limb for support if you don't use it. Because it does give her 15 limb for crystals. So yeah. We're gonna move on over to, we're not gonna grade her just yet because now we wanna move over to this slide, which I just made uh, as a first thing for you guys. 
Uh, so these are things that you should be leveling up. There is one move here that I don't that it that didn't show as a preview, so I just I translated it. So I don't know exactly what it's gonna be called. But the high one is definitely the passive there, because it gives her more killers and things like that. It's the one that gives her the, the one more times chaining cap. It even says in there, boost damage for various chains. So it's one time, so it's six point six plus one or seven times chain. The medium if you really want to do this, it's not necessary, but if you really want to, you can do the Meteor Crush, which is the Starter Strike chain. <clears throat> I did I did level it up because I intended to use her as a chainer as well. And I mean, it helps her helps her do some damage while you're getting the burst crystals for her level burst. So it's, it's not bad. And on the low side, something you probably shouldn't be considering really, is the Hot Fever it doesn't really do anything. It's really not necessary to level up right away. Remember guys, this this scale here is for like the very beginning of the game of the Brave Shift or the Neovision era. This is like the very beginning where you don't have a lot of materials and you really shouldn't be wasting on these kind of abilities. So that's what this is about. And also the one that gives her 240 to 300% attack buff depending on what level it is. And that's the only thing that changes. So there really knows no really there really is no level reason to level it up. 300% attack buff is nice, but you're not always going to be using the water imbue and things like that, so I would honestly love to not level those two at the end. What am I rating her? I definitely a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is a very high score. She's an amazing damage dealer, and she is free, and most people may have much of her. There are some people that may have never gotten any of her, but she's an old unit that you can get very easily right now. Should be on the banner if you want to pull. Uh, yeah, definitely very, very strong. 9 out of 10 for Tifa. Moving on to Barret. Um, his SCMR is okay. It's just okay. So, he's a fire based chainer and also he can be a finisher. He can, I don't know if he can chain cap himself because I've never really tried. 150% machine killer, 200% TDH, decent lone purse with. With his passives to back it up like he has a little burst damage and he has ways of filling his little burst which is needed because he does require you to use little burst crystals to use his finishing moves so that's the thing there's a lot of downside to this guy he's the worst version of Cleom, and still Cleom's not in global so i guess maybe that's the thing that they're trying to do that'd be so weird they're delaying Cleom because they want to sell barrett so he requires some little burst crystals to get through and you gotta, you gotta make him work pretty hard and it requires so much work to be able to be a decent damage dealer that it's just not worth it because most damage dealers at this point are stronger than him so there really is no point and the most optimal rotation you guys should be doing you should go ahead and go to your party and select him and just replace him with someone else that's my review Yep, and you guys can, can kind of tell from that, uh, he's getting a 5 out of 10. He's not horrible, he has, he's, he's serviceable if you are a new player, and you didn't get Cloud, or Tifa, I guess, but you, you can get Tifa, you just, there's no problem with that. Air is just not that good, he's a 5 to 7 unit, and then he's going to be coming into the Neo Vision era. Uh He's barely even, he's barely STMR fodder. He's barely STMR fodder. So yeah, 5 out of 10 for Barrett. Not a very hard one to review there. And finally we've got Cloud here. Remember guys, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be going into my old reviews just for a little bit of fun. Just to take back my first impressions compared to what I've got now. Months of knowledge and what to do on, what to review on these units. So, his STMR of course is the talk of the town. Compared to, also his vision card. Um, but it's not going to be anything special in the, in the future either. But his STMR is definitely the talk of town. It's very good. Um, I assume that the 400% cap will, or will happen soon, very soon. Even though they didn't announce it, I'm sure it will happen very, very soon. Or otherwise, his STMR would not make much sense. So he's a chainer and a, and a finisher. Thunder focused and his rave shift form. And his normal form, he has no imbues. Keep that in mind. So, really, what you want to be doing is... His main form is mainly supposed to be a finisher, but you can also chain with it. And his rave shift form is mainly for chaining. So there's that. He does have man eater and also machine killers, passive and active. 
if you have do some chaining for dark visions and things like that, you can mute, you know, your chain or dark visions. It's not too bad. And also you can be a finisher for it as well if you don't want to use Tifa, I suppose, but you probably should use Tifa instead. It's okay. And his Brave Shift Lone Burst does have the Nurn Peril as well. And also it does okay damage. It changed with himself. So it's not too bad. And his Lone Burst, his Lone Burst as normal form does not chain with itself, it kind of breaks. But it does, it's, it's a decent finisher by itself. Like you can just use it as finisher by itself. It's okay. It's pretty good. And as you can see there, there's a ju there's just as many cons as there are negative or pros in, in this list here. He seems really good now, but if any of you guys have been here this whole time, you will know uh, about the Squall when he, when seven stars were released and he was the first seven star unit along with Renoa. And at first it seemed like they were okay, but now after a few months in the seven star era, they were really bad. So it's the same thing here. Basically, he's basically the squall of the seventh of the Neo Vision era. Um, he's good now, but in a few months, in a few months, you're probably not even going to be using him anymore. You can still use him for content clearing, though. Don't be, get me wrong on that. You can still use him for content clearing. I'm just saying that he doesn't have the same capabilities that what Neo Vision units now have, like roll compression, where rain can imbue and support and mitigate be a world compression unit and also like madam where she can imbue with the entire team give killers to the entire team things like that like cloud doesn't do any of that kind of stuff he has the he has the worst role compression type in the game like chainer and finisher that's very common not very useful for ro real role compression like von for example who can be a breaker and a dodge provoker and also theoretically a finisher as well so Cloud well, just doesn't have the best scroll compression. What, what, what makes what makes Neo Vision units strong is that they're flexible, they're adaptable, they have you know world compression in their kit, and you'll, you guys will be seeing that in later editions of Neo Vision units. They they have multiple roles that they can be doing. Uh, so there's that. I don't want to overload you guys too much. And also his imper his imperil and his imbues are not so easy because you have to keep swapping back and forth if you want to do that and only that's for five turns and he has a cooldown period and when you shift over there's a one turn cooldown period so it's not just like hey i can shift over to my rear shift form i can imbue in peril and you know things like that and then shift back, back over in the next turn nope there's a cooldown for that there's a one turn cooldown so his rotation is down there grave shift right away um unless you're using him as just a solo finisher of course i'm, I'm assuming this this rotation is Assuming that you're using two of them. So Rave Shift over attack buff, imbue, and then peril. And then turn two, times three chain, or use this on first if you really want to. And turn three, you can either stay and keep chaining, or you can shift back and chain, or do other things with them, with, with the two of them. So that's the end of that, and we're gonna go ahead and look before we grade, we're gonna look at what you should be using, or what you should be leveling up, you're gonna be having a cloud. So here are the things that you should be considering. First slash is his chain, his main chaining move, I believe. These are all translated ones, I believe. Um, I believe first slash is the chaining one, and also spin slash is the imperil. It's it's either or. Just they're both really. You should be both be, you should be leveling those both up to level five. And the one that you should not really be considering right away and, or anytime soon is the raver one that's just a one hit finishing move it's a hundred times mod sure but it's really on the, on the low list and what you should be doing because if you want to finish just use tifa what do i rate what do i rate cloud after knowing this this is taking in mind right now but this is all taking in mind the future for you guys because remember guys new visions require a lot of commitment and require a bit of um investment to get get them so this is what i'm trying to do the future and also now so 7.5 Cloud gets a 7.5 out of 10 he's good he'll be he'll be fine complete content he's just not the guys you might be saying he's a new he's the first new vision he's really super strong and everything i'm gonna help i'm gonna help, i'm gonna use him to clear all the content sure do that i'm not saying that that's a bad thing i'm just saying that he's good but it's just he won't he's not the same caliber as the other new vision units in the future 
like Rain and Furion and Madam. Like, the, like units like that and Finzi. I know she's not really a damage dealer, but still. You get, what I'm, you get what I'm trying to say, like those are like the high caliber Mutant Vision units and Cloud is kind of like on the lower end of that. But he doesn't really do much of anything. So 7.5 is above, above, slightly above average. I'll say that much. So that's a review on that. And for those of you who stuck to the end of this video, I know this is for a little long. I'm going to go ahead and look into my uh, first reviews on the JP side a few months ago. So this is... My first impressions, this was way back when, uh, when we first started doing these kind of reviews. I think this might have been one of the first ones, actually. So, this is what I first impressioned. It's around the same, really. I, I, although I went into like, things like guts and stuff. I mean, most units have guts at this point, so I'm not really going to mention those. But, I said good mod chaining abilities back then. That's when it looked like they were pretty strong, because they were like over 70 times mod back then but now it's just like that's not even that special anymore that's how that's how far we've gone and definitely i agree on that con with the garbage team are but it's good for friend it's good for new players new players that get cloud they're gonna like that that team arc because it's a two-man great sword and you might not even have any so it's not too bad and also his team art reward is definitely skippable i will i will agree with that it is skippable so this is what i looked at when i first reviewed him a long time ago and let's look at what Barrett looks like. Oh boy, the, the resolution changed a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, we came up to the same conclusion pretty much that Clam uh, Copycat is basically the, the best definition I can think of for that. Clam Copycat. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I wanted to make this extra special. I wanted to make this a, a really, really cool video uh, as my first new vision upgrade and also Neo Vision era debut for global. I wanted to make this little special treat for you guys just at the end there. Just to show you what, what I have reviewed them in the past. My JP side version if you didn't watch it or you're new to my channel. And if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing again and please let please consider liking the video or maybe give it a dislike if you would just didn't like any of what I presented. And I try to make this as best as possible by including all those things that you should be leveling with those brave abilities. So let me know what you guys think. If you watch all the way through to the end of this video, make sure to type in hashtag brave. Hashtag brave will be the keyword for the ending of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, let me know if you're going to go for Cloud or you're just going to stick with Tifa. And that's fine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.